Peter Yarrow and Lenny Lipton. Puff the Magic Dragon, he lived by the sea, and he frolicked in the mist in a land called Hanali. Little Jackie Paper loved that rascal Puff and brought him strings and sailing wax and other fancy stuff. Puff the Magic Dragon, he lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Anali. Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Together, they would travel on a boat with billowed sail. Jackie kept a lookout perched on Puff's giant tail. Noble kings and princes would bow whenever they came. Pirate ships would lower their flag when Puff roared his name. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and he frolicked in the autumn mist in the land called Anali. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and he frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Anali. A dragon lives forever, but not so little girls and boys. Painted wings and giant rings make for ways for other toys. One gray night it happened, Jackie Paper came no more. And Puff, the mighty dragon, he seized his fearless roar. His head was bent in sorrow. Green scales felt like rain. Puff no, go, no longer went to play along the cherry lane. Without his lifelong friend Puff, he could not be brave. So Puff, that mighty dragon, sadly slipped into his cave. Puff, the magic dragon, he lived by the sea and he frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Anali. Puff the magic dragon, he lived by the sea, and he frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Anali. Puff.